Hi, welcome to this Excel video tutorial and Happy New Year. In this video, I'm going to show you how to dynamically filter between years using the Power Query and List Data Validation. However, before I dive in, I'm going to encourage you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of upcoming videos. So let's see our sample data set. Now we have this transaction record already formatted as an Excel table. We have a meaningful table name and it's showing record for date, customer name, all through to six amounts. Now, because we actually want to filter between years, you discover that in the data set, we do not have the year column and that will precipitate the first operation, which is to create an upper column and extract all the year from the date column. So let's do that. So I click on this, Control Shift plus or equal sign, and we have a new column. So let's name this year equal sign, and then we deploy the year function, and I click on this. Now this is structured reference, which is the feature of working with Excel tables. So I deploy Control arrow, and then we have this date-like value. No problem. Control Shift down arrow key, Control backspace. Come to the home tab of the ribbon in the number group. We want to choose general. Okay, boom. And we have all the years working fine. Come to this result sheet. Now, because we have this many sides, okay, this is the many side, we have many years repeated values. So we actually want to extract all the unique years. And at the same time, we want to sort them in ascending order. So because of this, I'm going to use two powerful dynamic array functions, which are sort and unique. So let's come to this cell R2, equal sign, sort, press my tab key, um, unique, press my tab key. And for the array, I'm going to switch back to this data sheet. And I select this year column, close unique, and close the sort, control, enter, boom, we have everything extracted. And at the same time, sorted in ascending order, fine. I'm going to get rid of this. So for this start year and the end year, I need two drop downs in cell A1, A2 rather, and B2. So let's do that here. Now to get the data validation, come to the data tab of the ribbon. In the data tools group, click on data validation. And I'm going to allow a list. And for my source, I reference this R2 downloads. Click OK, boom. Alt down arrow key, we can actually select any value. Fine. Now we can actually copy and paste the data validation and we're going to work pretty fine. Okay, so let's select 26, 2006, we have 2007 and 2006. Okay, so let's come back to the that sheet. Now, next, we want to get this data into the Power Query Editor. Now, in the data tab on the ribbon, in the Get and Transform Data group, we have the from table for slash range, or if you have the Office 365 or M365 for Excel, you can right click and choose this, get data from table for slash range. And that's gonna load the data into the Power Query Editor for further planning and transformation. That's the key. All right, so our data is ready in the Power Query Editor. So I have a simple transformation to make, which is to choose the proper data time now we have this date time so i actually want to see date not time so you can just click on this icon and choose date or just click on this um, column and choose change type and choose date and then in this create intermediate change column type tiler box you can choose to replace current step or add a new step so for me i click on replace current step and we have this proper date data type and that's all I need to do. So click on close and load. I want to close and load too. Now it's going to close the power query and I want to import into this wizard. Now you can import to your table, pivot, table report, pivot chart, but we want to create a connection. So I click on this only create connection and I click on OK. So we'll see the queries and connections tax pane. Now you're going to see all this to the right of your screen, but I prefer to have mine to the left. Okay, now let's come back to this result sheet. Now this data is um, currently in Excel range, not in the table. So let's do right click and choose get data from table for slash range. Now in this create table intermediate dialog box, we have my table as headers checked automatically. So I click on OK, and that's going to get the data into Excel um, to the Power Query having formatted as an Excel table. 
okay so i need some formulas in this area now any i'm going to just click on add column and under the general group we have this custom column right so i click on that so for my custom column i'm just use this um, year column as my column name now for my formula i'm going to use the what's called curly braces or curly brackets and then i'm going to use the end function which is number dot from okay so let me just search number dot from press my tab key then open parenthesis now for the value any one of choose start here close that up and i need two period or two dots another number from press my tab key open parenthesis and i need the end here for my value and that's all close that up and then i close up oh, let's see i think everything is fine okay close and then the curly brackets so everything is fine no syntax error have been detected so i click on okay all right, so we have this year column with a list. I click on these two upward pointed double arrows. So you can click on this, expand to new rows or extract values. But in our case, we want to expand to a new rows. So I click on that. Okay, so we have this years in between, and that's what I need to create a snowflake margin. All right, so I'm going to come right in here. Okay, so after doing that, I can actually just come to the home tab everyone and click on close and load to so let's create a connection also only create a connection and click on this all right so we have it ready now i'm going to double click on this so we actually want to create our snowflake margin of course i could have created it earlier on but that's the fine okay so come here click on these queries and click on this choose new query combine and we choose match queries as new and then in the match um intermediate dialog box you can choose a table and match in columns to create a matched table so i choose the main table which is transaction underscore factorial and then we want to create a snowflake margin based on this year column and for our other table table two i want to choose this year column and very importantly we need to specify the join kind we want and in this case we want the inner join which is to match only the rows so everything is fine the selection matches these numbers and i click on okay all right so we have this matched one so you can actually replace this name okay let me just call it Madero, and i hit enter boom okay so let's close and load to now because i don't want to dump everything in excel so i'm going to create connection for the last time and i click on okay so we have all the three ready now this is what i actually need so i'm going to just right click and choose load to and then want to load back to the table and then we want an existing sheet so let me just dump it in um cell b1 and i click on okay boom amazing so you can actually see that we have a record showing for um 2006 and 2007 it has been filtered dynamically between that two years that's cool so let's see how many records this is just showing 100 records excluding the headers so let's verify control shift down arrow key boom we have um how many 100 counts okay now let's see i want to filter to see start here let's see i want to start with 2010 to 2020 so i choose this from this drop down okay so all i need to do is to click on just right click rather and just refresh because you have to refresh power query all the time Ooh, we have five six one records amazing so let's verify from here boom we have from 2010 to 2020 boom that's what fine so let's see the total sales for this period of 10 years control shift down arrow key control shift 4 to apply currency formatting and we have 1 billion 352 million plus cool let's just do one more thing let's see what to see for uh, which year let's do 2000 year 2000 to year 2003 okay okay year 23 
okay so just again click on the cell in the power query result and then choose re um, refresh and then we have 206 rows of data loaded and if we come here to verify we have 2000 yeah 2000 to 2003 this is amazing so this is essentially how we create a dynamic filter between years using power query and list data validation this is to load it and i hope you've learned something new if you enjoyed the video remember to click on the subscribe button and give the thumbs up and let me hear from you thank you and bye for now please do stay safe